To be in pursuit of truth is inferior to the goal of being in pursuit of loving kindness, care and concern for all life. In other words, the pursuit of truth is simply a means to a greater end. And it's worth considering that and remembering that so that you don't, in argument, simply pursue truth at the cost of another person's um, happiness and welfare. We are only pursuing truth in as far as it's a blessing to us all. We are not pursuing truth for its own sake. The greatest of these is still love, not truth, though truth is very good as regards pursuit of welfare, but only if truth is used and uh, harnessed to be used in that way. You might use truth to do, design an atom bomb and blow the world to pieces. Truth would not be a, a great blessing to you in that sense. So it's not that truth in itself is valuable, but truth as applied to the right goal. And truth might help you determine the right goal, but only if it's harnessed to purposing such. In other words, there's a purpose that's greater, of greater value than simply the pursuit of truth. And that purpose is the love and welfare and care, the loving kindness towards life. And that is something that's valued universally in that the universality of such is a vital concern to those that would otherwise be left out. And so in our love and kindness we don't want to leave any creature out. Um, we don't murder the murderer. We might well want to seek a solution that keeps the rest of us safe. But that hopefully does not imply having to kill him as well. So we understand now the ideal. The ideal is the right motivation. Um, doesn't imply necessarily be, to be able to solve all situations. We're not claiming that. To solve all situations demands an ability to do such. And we're trusting that to God, not ourselves. Although obviously we're exercising such where we have such an ability. In other words, where we can solve the problem of um, being a blessing to all that we are. And that is all that's required of us. And in a sense you could say it's not even required of us. But it's a great blessing to ourselves if we do pursue such. In other words, morality is not quite what we thought, is not the attaining so much as the purposing. You could say, well, it's to attain a certain purpose. Yes, well, it's to purpose that then in that case. And so it goes on. Do you see there's something meta behind what we mean by a person? And it's this, what seems in our understanding, inexplicable presence of a desire to love and care, as opposed to the absence of such. And it 
it may be that that is the very essence of life itself. For if he hadn't loved and cared for us, would we have even existed? Doesn't look like it, does it? So we say thank you, Heavenly Father, for your self, by which we mean your very motivation to love and care for us into existence and all goodness. Love you, Father. Love you so much. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us. We love you because you first loved us. Before we even were. And you brought us into existence. That is the understanding we choose to believe. And we're so glad, Father, that you have it this way. Love you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So it seems that it always, always comes back to that the greatest of these is love. And that that's the very core of what spirituality is really about. What eternal life and goodness and personhood is really about. And really what God is really about. is the personification of creation. And love is the amazing intention of giving the fullness of life. Mm. Thank you for that conclusion, <laughs> Father. <laughs> Not new, is it? It's been in scriptures of, I think, most religions for a very, very long time. Thank you, Heavenly Father.